fantastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be using some paint and some choice drawing mediums to create a lovely shamrock that explores um, sym symmetry. So we're going to be exploring symmetry which is a principle of design balance and we're also going to be exploring folding some paint to make some super cute shamrocks perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So grab your art making mediums and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to be creating a St. Patrick's Day shamrock with some paint and a fun little exploration that also explores balance, so the principle of design balance, but also uh, some symmetry. And symmetry is where an artwork is balanced, where it has equal parts on either side, usually is a mirrored image. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice piece of green paper, I need to redo that, and we're going to fold it in half when it's in portrait orientation or sometimes in primary grades we refer to this as I believe hot dog it's a hot dog okay it's a hot dog but it is portrait folded in half okay portrait orientation folded in half so we get a nice perfect line down the middle so we can make make a symmetrical artwork where we're going to create on one side and when we fold it in half it's going to make the mirrored image but opposite on the other side and of course it's going to be a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day but also we got to make some eyes for it. Okay we're going to start off with the eyes because we got to cut them out. So you're just going to need a piece of paper. We need one third of a piece of paper. So if you are the teacher of a classroom you can go ahead and cut up one piece of paper into thirds and that's going to provide lots of eyes and mouths for lots of kids in your classroom. Okay, here we go. So first we're gonna draw one circle on one side, one circle on the other. Whoa, that's not a circle. One circle on the other. Don't worry if you make a mistake, see? Just keep going. You don't need to start over again. You don't need a new piece of paper. We just are going to be mindful artists and we're going to accept that mistakes are okay. Mistakes are okay. We always got to use some growth mindset. Okay, in each circle, we're going to draw one big circle and one small circle. And then we're going to color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles white. And look at that, that mistake I made. It's gone. No big deal. Perfect. Got that one eye done there. Switch to the side. And just like that, another eye. Okay, between the eyes, we're gonna draw one straight line, connect it with a U shape. And then we're gonna go from this corner down to the bottom with a curving line to make a tongue. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the mouth with our mark maker, leaving just the tongue white. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. I'm just gonna grab a red wax crayon. I'm gonna use this for multiple things. So one, I'm gonna color in my tongue nice and bright. That's step one. Step two is I'm not gonna switch my crowns. I'm gonna first turn this over before I make a mess and I'm gonna write my name on the back. Name on the back. You might also want to include your teacher's name. You might wanna include your grade. You're gonna have to include anything that you need to be identified by on the back with that same red wax crayon. And then you're gonna flip it back just like that. Okay, we're gonna take this and now we're gonna draw a shamrock shape, but only on one side. So we're gonna start off the mid top of the middle line. We're gonna draw a curve line down and in. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna draw kind of like a heart shape. So we're gonna go out curve and then stop, out curve and up towards that center line. And then we're gonna draw a stem going out and connect. That's it, now we got a shamrock. Okay, we're done with our wax crayon. 
We're also gonna cut out our eyes and then we're gonna make some lovely painted awesomeness. Okay. We're gonna cut out eyes and cut out mouth. One eye, put it beside you. Another eye. Okay, put it beside you. And a mouth. Okay, put that beside you. Recycle your bits, please. Okay, we're ready to paint, my friend. Okay, so you're gonna be using your paint in maybe a different way than I am using it. I'm using it straight from the bottle because I'm just one person using it, but you might just be using it from taking your paintbrush and dipping it into a palette or a jar, whatever you have set up. I'm gonna pick three different shamrock colors. I'm gonna use green, orange, and yellow because I wanna see what happens. Okay, we're gonna add three dots of or yeah, sorry, three dots of green on your shamrock. You're going to add three dots of your second color. Mine is, what did I say it is, yellow. And I need three dots of my third color. In this case, it is orange. That's it. Okay, and now we're gonna make awesomeness. So we're going to take our paper, we're going to fold it in half, and you're gonna feel that paint move around, and we're going to smooth it. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. It might leak out, that's okay. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. And we're gonna open it up. And just like that, we have a shamrock. But we're gonna have to let it dry in order to cut our shamrock out. We can see we have it on one side. You can kind of still see those lines from our wax crayon. But how cool does that look? Okay, now we're going to just, instead of using glue, we're going to simply take our eyes, switch mine around here, and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go to the widest part. So the widest part will be down here. So I'm gonna take my eyes. I'm gonna place my eyes on my shamrock because that way it'll be like glue as it dries. <laughs> we will skip the gluing step. I'm gonna place my mouth like that. Perfect. And when we come back, we are going to cut out our simply beautiful symmetrical shamrocks. Okay, so once your shamrock is dry, you're now going to just fold it in the opposite direction so we can see the side that has the line. I'm just gonna grab my scissors here and we're gonna quickly give it a nice cut out along that line. And recycle all our paper bits that we no longer need. Okay, and then once we open it up, our lovely uh, shamrock that explores the elements, or sorry, principle of design symmetry with some beautiful, beautiful paint texture and some cuteness is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what, 
kind of teacher you are for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing out.